kazi ni kazi brought to you by the ministry of industrialization the ministry of industrialization tunaimarisha viwanda iwananchi wenye bidi hawachoki kutafuta riziki zao usinicheke naendeleza gurudumu la maendeleo As the cost of building and construction rises, an engineering firm in Nairobi has devised a technology for affordable housing, water and sanitation systems. Located in Nairobi's industrial area, Makiga Engineering Services Limited manufactures press machines for making quality soil blocks used in building and construction. The soil block presses are uh, normally used any type of soil apart from black cotton soil and uh, how the technology works is that we mix uh, soil and cement, very little amount of cement, like for instance we can use 18 wheelbarrows of soil to one bag of cement and about 20 liters of water and this can give you about uh, 150 blocks. Started in 1989, Makiga Engineering Services Limited is the inventor of a technology that has produced a range of products set to redefine the construction industry in Kenya. Aina moja ambayo tukanaya tunaita the curved interlocking block press. Curved interlocking block press inajenga mawe ambayo natumika kujenga water tanks, ata kujenga biogas plant, underground tanks, double interlocking block press, Inajenga mawe ambayo yako katika ile size ya kawaida upana wa around 5.5 inches kuna aina nyingine ya mashine ambayo tunaita the wide straight interlocking na hiyo ni pana kuliko yale mawe ya nyingine ya double straight hiyo ni 9 inches wide nayo na hutumika kujenga eh, ukuta kama ule wa perimeter wall depending on a customer's preferred design the soil block presses are custom made to manufacture a variety of building blocks. Tunaandaa vitu ambavyo tunatumia katika kufanya ule muungano mzima wa mashine. Alafu sisi utagawanyisha kama yale material kama yanatumika kujenga the box, we cut the plates. Alafu baada ya kufanya fabrication of the box, tunafanya fitting of the stands. Hiyo ni kuweka miguu ya ile mashine. Baadae baada ya kufanya fitting of the stands tunafanya top grinding and top eh, top welding and top grinding katika fabrication ya lead sisi u, u, kwanza ufanya the cutting of the plates the framing baadae tukafanya the full welding sehemu ya tatu ambayo inafuatilia ni tunafanya fabrication ya ile ambayo tunaita piston piston ndio ambayo ina run katika ile box kisha baadae tukakuja tukafanya sasa ule final assembly ya sehemu zote za za ile mashine na mashine hapo kuwa tayari huenda for eh, quality check alafu baadaye tukafanya eh, removal ya zile zinaita spatters na baadaye sasa mashine huwa tayari kuenda for preparation for painting na baada ya painting mashine huwa tayari with the block press machine ready the process then moves to that of making the soil blocks sisi upima mchanga kujua kwamba ni tutaweza kutumia kiwango gani ya mchanga na simiti Baadae, sisi hu, hu, hujua ni kiwango gani ya mchi ya simiti tatumika katika ile mchanga. Tunaweza ku, ku, kuongeza maji, ule mchanga nyiko, humuagwa katika ile machine yetu. Alafu, sasa hapo ndo eh, ile combustion inaanza. Sisi uchukua two weeks kufanya ile stage ambayo tunaita curing. Curing ni humuagili ya maji na kuyota katika hali ya kivuli ili iweze kukauka katika hali ambayo hypothesis maji na tena huwa inafunikwa na karatasi nyeusi The block press machine which can be operated by 3 to 4 people comes with many advantages just like the blocks it produces Inatumia locally available material kwa maana udongo ambao unatumika kujenga yale mawe yanapatikana katika ile tunaita construction site haya mawe ya, ya, ya natumia simiti kidogo sana na pia mawe haya ya ine, wana ile e, e, uwezo wa kuingiana e, de, 
interlocking mechanism. In addition, the Blocks Press technology has also created employment opportunities for more than 40 employees who now work in the engineering workshop and demonstration halls. But even with the good news, a number of challenges have already emerged. Many people are not normally aware of the technology of the, using the stabilized soil blocks. The other challenge we have is the financing, is that we find that the people who really need the machine or the people who really can benefit are very low income and people. And as the country works towards achieving its development plan by the year 2030, as envisioned, Makiga Engineering Services Limited has already embarked on transferring this technology to entrepreneurs, developers, as well as individuals in the building and construction industry to help achieve this goal. Once you buy the machine, we normally offer training. So, and uh, because the machine is operated manually, we educate people on how to operate the machine how to make blocks and how to build the blocks. And these people, when they go back to the rural areas, especially, they're able to even teach other people. Kazi Nikazi, brought to you by the Ministry of Industrialization. The Ministry of Industrialization, Tunai Marisha, Viwanda. Wenye piti, hawachoki kutaputa riziki zao Usini